7.54, back on Breakfast Television, everyone. And, okay, we, we need to talk about this right now. And uh, it is going to be the biggest football weekend there is. There's the Vanier Cup and the Grey Cup. And who better to tell us about it than Tim McAuliffe. He's a Sportsnet analyst, play-by-play -play for, uh, for the Vanier Cup this weekend. Tim, how are you? I'm very good. I'm not as good as Wilder. I want to know what he's working out today. <laughs> Wilder's but, uh... doing just fine this morning. Hey, so, okay, big so. football weekend happening. Uh, we, as I said, Vanier Cup, Break Cup happening this weekend. Just to start off, tell us what, what the difference is between those two football cultures because there is a difference, right? Yeah, it's amazing. When you think about football culture in Canada, there's probably two prominent provinces that, that jump out at you as the best. And one of them is Saskatchewan, and obviously the Grey Cup is taking place in Saskatchewan. But as we celebrate kind of Canadian football, I think it's really important to, to note um, the Quebec football culture. And we've got a real good look at it this weekend. And I think uh, it'll be on showcase for, for all of Canada to see because I don't know if there is a, a better football atmosphere um, you know, maybe at any level than what they have here with the Rouge Or. Well, then, as, as you said, the Rouge Or, and they're playing in Quebec City in their own house. They're playing the Calgary Dinos. And, and these two teams, I mean, they've played each other in the final quite, uh, quite a few times, eh? Yeah, yeah. It seems like they're, they're two powerful, you know, prominent powerhouses in Canadian football. But uh, Laval Rouge Or are 3-0 and against the Calgary Dinos all time. And uh, no doubt the city is waiting to explode because I'm going to tell you something. The atmosphere in Quebec City this weekend is a buzz, and I can't wait to get the Stad Peps uh, to, tomorrow to see just how many fans are there and just how crazy it would be if Laval was able to win on home soil. Well, I mean, exactly. The, the Rouge Or is creating a dynasty now with this team. They have an amazing structure, and that's what works for them now. Uh, the atmosphere is great. Now, tell me, you work for Sportsnet. This is a new deal for you guys, and it's amazing. It's going to last for six years, so tell me a little bit about that. It's good. What are the events happening around, uh, around the game? Yeah, we've, uh, we'll start our coverage at 12.30 Eastern time, and we will cover you right through the, the, the Vanier Cup, the 49th Vanier Cup. But I used to work at the SCORE Television Network, which is an Ontario-based national network, and uh, we covered it for 10 years. We covered university football for 10 years, and Sportsnet bought the SCORE about a year ago, and we have never done it this big. We've got an entire panel on site. Um, we've got the, the Vanier Cup on hand. Um, We've never blown it out quite like this before. And I think, you know, John Cornish yesterday won the most outstanding player in, in the CFL. And it's the first time that a Canadian has won since, since 1978. And it's kind of, I think it's fitting that we celebrate Canadian football, you know. And these are our kids. These, this is our game. And this is our national championship. And I think we're treating it like that this year. And I think those, you know, who watch Sejap football and high, high school football, in the Quebec area will be really proud about the coverage that their kids get this weekend. Oh, that'll be great. I'm sure a ton of people will be watching. And I, I really wish that you guys can live uh, the Rouge Royale winning on home soil. It's going to be a great party. It's going to be a great sports net party as well. All right, Tim, thank you so much for taking the time. And uh, enjoy the game tomorrow. Anytime, Alex. Thanks for having me. Thank you very much. All right, you guys, we'll be back right after the break. And you're not going to want to miss uh, this game. It airs on Sportsnet over the weekend, as we said. We'll get back right after the break, you guys, right here on Breakfast Television, only on Sportsnet.